kiss for you. Hey guys, what's going on? Ace here. This video will be a brief guide to leveling in general, with some gameplay from my level 212 rogue in the background, which is quite decked out at the moment, and I'll show you guys at the end of the video. I wanted to make this video because leveling is such a tedious and long thing to do that we will have all done to some extent. What I will share will help anyone leveling in the future to be resource efficient, fast, which will give you an advantage over other players. My first tip refers to identifying where you are leveling and how you can best attune yourself to be the most efficient in leveling. Areas to level in Celtic Heroes differ as the grind goes on. Your power compared to the mob's power varies each area and stage you're at. An example would be getting a new item you just hit the level requirement of, say an amulet. This means you are now a lot stronger than your mobs because your power has significantly increased compared to the mob. If you're aware of this, you can be resource efficient and maybe use a regular XP elixir and a health elixir instead of a combo. This next tip is about pathing. Before you enter a new area to level, you should analyze what your path will be, where you can use your precious 15 minute elixir time effectively. The first few elixirs may be quite weak in terms of your pathing, but as you level, you should seek to improve your pathing as it can result in you killing more mobs within your elixir time, which equates to faster level. So this next tip really goes without saying, but it's just pretty much don't be an idiot. Like I know this could be come off as being rude or whatever, but as you can see in this video, what I'm doing here right now is I pulled the mob out of any aggro of other minions because the last thing you want to do, especially when soloing, is have three or four mobs on you. I know, I think we've all been there and you're just burning pods. It's really not a good feeling. It kind of... You're just wasting pots from doing silly shit, so like make sure you're onto that. Doing it again here, just pulling this green mob so that other green eye doesn't absolutely wreck me and I'm having to juggle mobs, so yeah, just stuff like that. And my last tip for you guys is find a group. I know the footage you are viewing is solo leveling, but if you can, if you could, I would really recommend a group. The way the game is designed, even if another player is quite a bit weaker than you, the odds are that you will get better XP with them. Leveling with a friend or group can also be much more fun, as you aren't grinding away by yourself, and small conversations can prevent you from going crazy sometimes. Anyway guys, that's going to sum up the video. I'm going to show you my current setup on my Rogue, and just going to go through with it, as I said earlier in the video. As you can see, I have this insane helm that's not actually mine, unfortunately, but 200 magic damage, 1000 attack, 1000 defense. Good thing about this game is you develop friends and sometimes relationships and, yeah, you know, shit like that. And it can actually allow you to obtain some gear. But anyway, for the rest, this is mine. This is Shadow Necro Dagger. It's pretty decent. It's good before EDL. I mean, yeah, EDL. And here's the, just a 200 off and that's pretty standard, along with DL, unfortunately, it's not EDL, sorry for you guys. But anyway, my jewellery, I have this skein set with the Garrett Army, this is mine. Everything else is mine, actually, so it's only that helmet, that's not mine. But yeah, this 600 attack, Proteus bracelet. I just saw this shit in the bank somewhere, that is dude. Got these two blood dagger rings, which are really nice course not as good as the upgraded ones a better tier but you know for a 212 alt account which is actually my third tune this is not a bad setup in my opinion of course all baylor ring so i probably shouldn't uh, really stress that it was a mad setup but you know for for an alt i think it, it was pretty pretty good so anyway thanks for watching guys if you want more videos like this or I was going to actually go really in depth about what star level mobs are best and what's the most effect, like efficient time effective so leave a comment and leave a like if you want me to make a video about that and yeah subscribe cheers for watching catch you later